G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. I said I'd be back with the kayak. Got my good mate Brent Livingston there, Livo. He's about to put that drone up. This lake's so clear, I reckon you'll see schools of herring or tarp on or something kicking around. Just uh, while it's bright sun, thought why not give it a go. But yeah, got the yaks, got brim gear, herring gear, plastics, vibes, top water. Yeah, got all afternoon. It's not raining, it's not overly windy. It's gonna be good fun. Here we go, Livo. Here we go. Oh, damn it, missed him. Got him. First fish, Livo. First fish, mate. How good's kayak in a bloody lake? That first fish I missed was bigger than that guy, eh? Always look out, keep your eye out, because if you see stuff start busting up, try to get over on it. So much better being in the kayak. Like I said last video, 20 years I reckon since I fished in here. And same deal, this bank always used to be good, it used to hold fish. Already got one, and there's more to come. Oh, he had it. A little guy. You know, back in the day, back in like 99, 2000, you could drive a tinny into here. It had an open causeway thing, open creek, incoming tide, you get the tinny up into it. And then they blocked it off and then they had like a pipe and it was like too small of a pipe. Yeah. On the run out tide, it used to create like a whirlpool, like sucking down as it had drained back out into the creek. Yeah. And then they changed it again and then put that weir that's there now. And the beauty of it is like, yeah, you chase your brim, but there's a chance of a jack or anything happening at any stage. One day we were sitting over here, there's a big shelf sort of plateau comes out and it was like fading light, but clear water. Look down and there was a bloody slaty brim like this. Massive, like six, seven, eight kilo thing, just like mooching along this flat little flat. Yep. Nice fish. Did you see him rip the slack out of that? Yeah, 
Number two for the session, stay that gold crabby. I reckon we'll get them bigger than that. Got him yet, Lizzo? Oh, bugger off, wind. That wind sucks. Oh yeah. Flathead. Nah, a little brim just shaking his head like crazy. There we go, another brim. On the crabby. This is where you'd expect to get a flathead or something, you know? Nice little ambush point, little sand flat. Yep. Hey, speak of the devil. Buddy. Yep. Might net it because I don't want some flathead spikes. Go. Little flathead, classic spot, edge of the sand. Or maybe not. Took a claw, the bastard. All right, BP 50 time, let's go. Oh, now we're on, Livo, we are on now. Did drag go then? No. Tighten that drag, I'll be back with a quicker drag. You want to set that hook? That was a good one. That was the one I just said we catch, man. You cooked it. You got it. Oh, are you kidding me? That drag is tight. Go tighter. If they're taking line on that hook set, you got to go tighter. Got to drive that hook home. Damn, Livo. Oh, look at the snag here, bro. Oh, yeah. He's on. <laughs> He's on. Nice one, mate. Take that. Yep. Oh, dude. He rubbed on something for a split second and then the hook pulled. Kidding me, aren't you? No, over the hills back there there is. Hopefully we're right. He's got that. Oh, he had that. Oh, he had it again, dude. Oh, dude. I suck at this fishing thing, bro. Yeah, it's just a drizzle ass. Eh? Good. Oh, yes. Livo. Oh, someone come back and grab it. Is it one? Yeah. You got hard or what? Five two, the the comeback is real. It's weird. It's not like it's it's not like they relate to these snags. You know, you see a big tree and you think, oh, there'll be one on that. They're just on the rocky bits in between. I'll cast up there though. While I'm here. Ooh. Oh, he's got him. 
Oh, I'm on two. Oh, I was on two. Oh, I was watching you and I felt mine go. Didn't get the hooks out, Livo. Give us that big random clunking something large. Good old unstoppable on six pound. Did you order that rain, Livo? It's here. Yep, oh dude. Yeah, good fish. Good fish. Oh, heaps better fish. Oh, dude, stay out of there. Oh, dude. Yeah, good fish, man. Is he a brim? Good brim, he's a brim. Can you help? Should be alright. What is he? I think that's a little silver. I think it's a good brim, dude. That one just had fish. Yeah, yeah, good brim. Yep. Oh, yeah, nice brim, dude. Playing up. Playing up like a two bob watch. Oh, there was my shot and I was too busy paddling. Yes! That's a solid brim. There you go, that's the sort of brim you come here looking for. Solid fish, like I'd give him a 32, three sort of fork length. Just stay that BP 50, 140th hidden weight, six pound litre. 10 pound main line, it's that seven foot two, one to three kilo rod. Just that classic light plastic, lightly weighted brim flick and stick. That's a good fish. I'll tell you that. We'll do a rough measurement in the old fish film edit, Matt. There you go. 33 fork, maybe a little more. Solid brim. If you're a tip guy, you'd go 37, 38 nearly. But I'm not a tip guy. It's a good brim though. It's a good map. Kayaks are so bad for reels, man. They just end up sitting in puddles, eh? See that? That was like proper eat. Just doom. Solid hook set. Like, it's not messing around with those little fish, you know? Got him, he's swimming the other way. He's going under me, man. Nice. He's way up in there. He's under me on this side. <laughs> he's one of those bloody saddleback rims. I reckon it's a genetic thing. You think, oh, he's been bitten by something or he's been stuck in a net, something, you know, but they reckon it's a genetic disease. Probably would have had a chunk taken out of it. Yeah, no, you get too many of them in that with that same thing in the same spot for it to be every brim gets a bite taken out of it, you know. Halfway through the session, it's got a cracking brim. Just pulled in, and there's dead set four jacks swimming around here. They're only about 30, 35. Two little guys, but they just come in like they know that you're up on the bank, and they just come in there looking at you. You never catch them. I just had a flick at them, but so yeah, that little rain come over. It's knocked the ass out of the wind. It's just a mill pond out here now. It's gorgeous. Yeah, we're gonna get a few more fish before this session's out, eh? That's for sure. Oh. 
What happened? That was massive. What was it? I don't know what it was. I just took it and literally smashed it and snapped it straight off. You get busted off? Yeah. Livo. It took it hard, man. Jack. Yep. Oh, you're kidding. How do they do that? Like, you've got the bloody bait in your mouth, mate. Had the paddle in my hand, wasn't paying attention. Got him, Bivo. Good one. Are you on? Still plenty to fish too. Oh! Flathead. 100% flathead. You on? Doubles, Livo. Yeah, mine's a flat, he's got to be. Uh, no, nah, mine's a flat. Eh? Doubles, Livo. Don't flick my glasses, you idiot. Go, little floody. No chance for that buck. There you go. Another little quality brim. They're nice and fat. Uh, yeah, beauty. Oh, you're in a tree. Oh, I had it. <laughs> Little guy. Oh, he's got it again. Oh, he's shaking his head like he knows what he's on about. Another brim. Oh, we're due for another brim, bro. It's been a while. It's 10 minutes. Oh, here's one. Oh, you had it. Right on cue, that bloke was. Back as he got it. Yep. Look at him go. He's not even that big man, he's just carving. Dude, this guy's got some fight in him. I'm on with my line. Hook him. Doubles? Yeah, yeah Livo. Oh no, I'm in the tree. Yeah, they're going. Where are you going? Going hard. Not a nice brim. Just, yeah, they're just good fun. Clear water, they go hard, they're shaking their head. Glorious afternoon. What more could you ask for? Nice one, mate.
Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. Damn it. That was big, man. Yep. Big, 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 big weight just went to go and just tink. Nah, no rubbed up, just destroyed. Man, I can't believe that. Man, he was cruising out too, eh? He was just steaming out heavy weight and as soon as it went to go take like a click of drag, just pop. Man, that sucks. Dude, that was so big, it's not funny. It was just so much weight, man, it's not funny, eh? On a rocky point too, like it was going out, it wasn't going for something, it was just... It was definitely not a brim. <laughs> These lakes, man, they always do it, eh? There's always that surprise, big something element to them, man. Ah. <sighs> Had one. Yep. <clears throat> oh, get out of there. Hey, he's just a little guy. Oh, you had it again, Livo. Ah, that'll do. That's it. I'm done. Dude, I just got done hardcore.